Hello, I'm Noelle Tredick Gosling, and I'm the concertmaster of the Muncie Symphony Orchestra. And today, I'm here to tell you about my favorite instrument, the violin. The violin is beautiful to look at and beautiful to play. It's made of two pieces of wood, spruce on top, maple on the back, the sides, and the neck. The pegs you see here, there's four of them, and they manage these four strings. These four strings go over a bridge, and they cross over the bridge and hook into the tailpiece. And the tailpiece is connected to the button at the end of the violin. Now, if the button weren't there and this broke, the whole thing would come off in one big piece. So it's beautifully put together, and it works very well when it's all strung up and looking beautiful. The F holes here are what uh, amplifies the sound of a violin. Also, the fingerboard here is what we call the fingerboard. It's made of ebony. And a lot of people don't talk about the bow. <laughs> the bow is also made of wood. It can be made of many things, but it has horse hair and it's used to create sound. <laughs> Now, this back here, you may wonder what is going on here. This is a shoulder rest, and it's used just for comfort. I use it to be comfortable. Now, a lot of people don't use shoulder rests, and some people use just a little sponge, but it all depends on what you're comfortable with. You know, um, some people have longer necks, some people have shorter, they, you just do, this is comfortable for me, and it's always worked for me, and I'm sticking to it. So that's what that's all about. Now, violins come in multiple sizes to accommodate smaller hands of young players. So I believe there's about eight sizes, but here I have in my studio um, two sizes. This, my full-size violin, and then I have a quarter size isn't that cute? <laughs> I'm going to try to play it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's the fingerboard so tiny, I have to squinch, squinch up my fingers here. Now this is a 1 16th size. Now this is really tiny and I, I'll be amazed if I can play anything in tune on this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like no sound, but look good. Look like a soloist when you play it. Oh, it feels like nothing. <laughs> it's a little toy. But this is often used for a very small child, three years old, maybe younger. And this generally is for, um, I'd say, kindergarten, somewhere around there. Over here, I have a completely different kind of violin. This is an electric violin. This is a wonderful uh, violin I love. It's made by Yamaha. and. I love that you can see through it, and it's very light. Doesn't sound like much, but if I plug it in and I turn up the volume, sizes of violins and there's as I said many many different sizes to accommodate many different sizes of players now the violin was the earliest violins came from Italy starting in the 16th century so that's roughly 500 years ago 
So they've been around a long, long time. This violin was built in 1760 in Naples, Italy. So you do the math and you can figure out how old it is. So if it could tell me a story, it certainly would be interesting, wouldn't it? So a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between a fiddle and a violin? There's no difference at all. It's the style of music that's played on these instruments. So generally with a violin, we play classical music. <laughs> more but if you do come to our Muncie Symphony concert which I hope you do please come to the end of the stage I'll come down and talk to you come afterwards come to the receptions follow us on Facebook Instagram follow us everywhere we give concerts be a fan because we need you that's what makes our orchestra so great is you our audience so thank you for watching and um We'll check you out another time. Bye-bye.